am not voting for Robert Garcia. Rich Charlie is a gay veteran and community advocate in Long Beach. In the 90s, he was discharged from the Navy because of his homosexuality. Since then, he has dedicated himself to fighting for the rights of all marginalized people. Currently, he is worried because he believes that Mayor Robert Garcia, an openly gay man, is not being honest in his congressional campaign. Here, Charlie deconstructs Garcia's campaign literature and calls on the voters to investigate and reject the mayor's run for federal office. Yeah, I'm a United States Navy veteran, and in 1994, I got kicked out and fired. Um, for being gay in the military. I would risk my life and take a bullet to save and have rights protected, and then I was fired for that. So uh, we are quickly, in my opinion, headed back that way. What it, and so you'd say, why? What is your justification? And let me give you some examples that are gonna be headed to the Supreme Court in the next cycle. Lawrence versus Texas. That's um, now being appealed, and that's probably going to go back up to the Supreme Court. Could be the next landmark decision to be overturned, like Roe versus Wade, where you no longer can legally get married. Another serious thing is adoption. Family Foundations versus Virginia Department of Education are now saying that families cannot adopt. Um, same-sex marriage couples, that's under attack. Same-sex couples made, like our Mayor Pete has a child, he might not, a future people might not be able to do that. Garcia is legally married. What if he wants to get a child and now that might be unconstitutional and, and illegal? As an LGBTQI advocate, I'm frightened and I'm actually kind of scared and I, I'm going to vote at the ballot box for someone that's not going to pander to me, that's not going to lie to me, that's not going to say, hey, come to Hamburger Mary's and donate money because I'm going to be your advocate, but yet on their political flyers, take off their wedding band. To, uh, that to me is very appalling, very troubling, and very scary. Um, so you say, well, Rich, what are you, what are you talking about? Well, first. We're getting all these twenty, thirty thousand dollar glossy flyers, and the first thing I'm going to look at with the background I just gave you is, am I going to vote for a person at the House of Representatives that's going to be my advocate? And I'll be darned, wedding band taken off. So wedding band taken off. That made my mouth hit the ground, uh, my jaw hit the ground, my eyes bugged out, and I was like, WTF? This guy is legally married to a man and takes off his wedding ring for a political flyer? So, Garcia, is it politics over family? I mean, what's going on here? So, okay, maybe maybe that was just an error by the photographer. Um, no, then you open it up. Hiding, intentionally hiding the wedding ring the wedding band and that you're married. But then you see this really nice gentleman, he's married and he has his wedding band and he's proud of it and he's not hiding it. Look at the contrast and I hope you'll show your uh, viewers this. But, um, so I'm like, okay, so you go through again, um, you know, you go through again, wedding band hidden. Then I really am starting to get angry now because let's take off that wedding band at a hospital talking to a nurse. She's reaching out and touching him. He's, he's, he's not even, look at the handshakes and that, tell me if that's not shady at best, but shady and Garcia, one and the same. Now, let's look at the next political flyer. Married, legally married Garcia, which I put my life on the line so this man could do this. He takes off his wedding band, takes it off. And, 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 and actually, not only does it take it off, he flaunts it like that in front of a camera. I'm not married. I'm this really smart college educated man. Um, and hey, vote for me, right? Which is, which this flyer then lead me, leads me to the next flyer that I got. Hey, I'm a family man. Come, Garber Garcia, but um, let's make sure you don't have my wedding band, right? So this is the third political flyer, and we're probably talking about sixty or seventy thousand dollars minimum. And let's go. So let's spend all this money to prove that he's not married. So now the fourth flyer, even more concerning. Hey, my name's Robert Garcia. I'm not married. 
you know, wedding band taken off. So what is it? Vote for Robert Garcia and then when he comes into office, he's not gonna be an advocate. Well, he's just gonna go silent. Uh, is he gonna flip back to the Republican side and, and side with the majority? Like, because he did that, he has a history. He's a Republican, flipped to the Democrat, and now House will be Republican. How do we know he's gonna flip back to his roots and become a Republican as a House representative? I'm now questioning that. And I'm also questioning the integrity of having an, an amazing, smart husband and, and got married three streets down. And, and I would celebrate my life, and I would celebrate the advocacy. And to me, it's appalling, it's concerning, and it's vile and disgusting that you take off your wedding band for a vote. And so I, I just question that, but I know there are other candidates that are running against them that are not legally married, that haven't gone through the struggles, but have gone through other struggles. They have gone through struggles. I don't know what it's like coming as an immigrant to their country to be ostracized, to be humiliated. I don't know what it's like coming from another country and because of my, um, my uh, language, because of my color of the skin, I'm gonna be homeless, I'm not gonna be given the same opportunity. And so I, I can't speak for that, but it, to me it's a parallel world of the LGBTQ community and Mr. Garcia takes off his wedding band. There's got to be a reason why he was told to take off his wedding band. So uh, I went and did some research and I saw some political ads on TV and political mailers and Donald Trump always takes off his wedding ring. Donald Trump takes off his wedding ring. Garcia takes off his wedding ring. Who are you gonna trust? So what, Donald Trump's gonna call Garcia and say, hey, do this, and he's gonna do it? That's my concern, because he's a known flipper from Republican to Democrat, and my also fear is I think he's gonna go back to Republican and side with the Republicans and be like, oh well. So I, I challenge that, and I'm very, very concerned. If you will go to that much length to take off your wedding band on four political mailers to deceive the voters, I feel that this is just the beginning. And I think we're gonna start learning more and more and more of things that you're hiding. And I, and I pray, I pray that people start looking more into your record, more into your background, because I have a gut feeling I have a gut feeling that the kryptonite that's gonna take down your Superman facade is coming at you, Garcia. I feel kryptonite's coming down hard. And I pray to God that the, all, the, all the truth comes out and we will not have you as our representative in government.